Hi, today we're going to review and take a look at this uh, latest craze in picture storage called the iFi card. It's a data card that you can use in most uh, camera devices and what it does is transfer the pictures back to your computer wirelessly. So we're going to go ahead and open the box, um, see how easy it is to set up and then we're going to load it into our Kodak uh, HD video slash a uh, still camera, take it to the backyard and see how good it works. So let's open up the box. Alright, I don't know how good of a view you got there. Let's check out and see what we have in the box. All right, so it looks like we have a card reader. That's a little bit bizarre right now, because, okay, we have a card reader that has a card on in it already. It says four gigabyte and Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thought I had two for a minute, but this is just a piece of cardboard. All right, and a manual. All right, takes 10 minutes, it says, estimated time. You need Windows 7, XP, or Vista, and 100 megabytes of free space. Connect the card reader to your PC or Mac. Allow for a minute for it to recognize it. All right, so we should have left this together like this. Now we're going to plug this into the USB port. All right, I have kind of a messy area here, USB, but I have one USB port there. But as you see, this is not going to fit in there. So we're going to put it into the hub and hope that it works through this four port hub. But this is essentially just one USB port going to four. So you should be able to plug this straight into a USB port that you have available and you should get the same effect. So here we go. <laughs> All right, plugged in and it did light up. It has a light flashing inside. That's a good sign. That means that it's power. All right, on the screen, we are getting uh, import pictures menu view more autoplay options and control panel alright we're gonna just hang on let's see what the instructions say alright the instructions say to open the folder to view file so we're gonna double click that we get a new choice and it says to locate Navigate to the Start Here folder, and then the Windows folder, double click, Set Up, Start Here, Windows, and then we're hitting Set Up. Alright, we're clicking Next. We're going to agree to the terms. We're going to leave the default folder. Click Install. Completed the helper 3.0 wizard. Click the finish button. I just closed that window behind it. Alright, update is available. We're going to download and install. update was downloaded and verified clicking install now
All right, firewall's blocking some of the features. Private networks of its home network, public networks of the network. All right, we're gonna allow access. Important, test to make sure it will work properly. Next. All right, so it passed some kind of test. Click finish. All right, we just got a little message at the bottom. It says found i5 card. Launching i5 center. Alright, so it wants me to activate it and get an iFi account. Don't really care for that, but I'm not gonna video that. So I guess I'm gonna fill this out. It's asking for an email and a password, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I put in my uh, email address and a password, um, and this came up iFi firmware update. So it's another update. We're gonna go ahead and update that. Presumably that's the software that's on the card that enables the pictures to be transmitted. <coughs> so far it's a little bit more involved than what I thought. I thought we'd basically be plugging it in and going taking pictures. All right, it's asking me where now to send my photos and videos. So uh, we're gonna send them to the computer. Send photos to the online iFi account where they'll be stored for seven days. I don't want them online. Continue. This will allow wireless transfers to your camera. Select a network. Oh, my network is listed, so that's a good sign. Continue connecting to wireless. Now, if your wireless network has a security code, I would assume that it would ask for it. I live in a rural area, so I uh, don't have a security setting. Automatically send to favorite places, including Facebook. That looks pretty cool, but we're gonna do that later. All right, see a photo. See a photo transfer to your computer now for the fun. Remove the iFi card from the reader and insert it in your camera. Turn your camera on and take a picture. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Take the card out. Now I'm curious if I have to leave that reader inserted. I wonder if that's the antenna. All right. It's always hard to do this. One hand holding the camera. Need a dedicated camera person. All right. Inserting the car. This is a waterproof camera, so it has. A... All right. So I guess we'll just take a picture of the box. Picture has been taken and stored. Turn your camera, take a picture. Your photo should appear within a few minutes. Camera. Oh, <laughs> I have to say that's impressive. That is pretty impressive. Okay, so close the window. Welcome to iFi Center. Splash screen, and there's the picture question is now where exactly did it send the picture? Okay, let's see how smart this was. I put all my pictures in here organized by date. Oh, there is an i5 folder there and it is... Alright, so... It has been smart enough to go into my picture folder. It's placed. Oh, was there somewhere in my pictures? Okay, into my pictures, there's an i5 folder, and the picture is in there. 
And there it is on my second screen. I have a dual monitor set up, by the way, so. All right, we're gonna take it out in the field outside and take some pictures and see how that goes. All right, so now we're in the backyard and I'm just gonna shoot some random pictures here of a flower. And presumably it is sending those pictures as I'm taking pictures. And I'm also gonna switch to video now and take a quick video and see how and if it handles videos also. All right, that's about a 15 second video of the backyard. Switch back to camera. One. Two. Three. Some weird stuff going on just now, but I think that was due to the sunlight out here. All right, so I took quite a few pictures. Been in the backyard. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and set this camera down outside. So we're gonna pretend now we're having a barbecue in the backyard or something, and that I'm gonna continue taking pictures while the computer is on inside. Let's go see what's going on in there. All right, we're back inside and I'm seeing the pictures now pop up even as I sit here, so they were still transmitting. Remember, I left the camera outside. Now, I do not see the video that I took. So, at first glance, now it appears that it'll transfer photos, but I don't see videos. But it could very well be transferring the videos into the video folder. I haven't checked that yet. All right, so I'm now in my video folder, and there is a date folder and there are two files in here an mp4 for 16 all right let's check this video it handles videos also all right that's about a 15 second video of the backyard that looks good I think the secondary file is something that's uh, I've seen in there before from the camera. I don't think it opens. Oh, there. Oh, it must be like a preview. Okay, so it transferred the video and it transferred the pictures. Second screen, you can scroll through them. Of course, the quality of the pictures are dependent upon the camera, not the cart. But I have to say, that was fairly easy setup. Everything works the way it's advertised. Um, so, pretty cool. And that's how the iFi card works. Um, it was a little bit pricey. I think for this 4 gigabyte card, I paid $39.99 or around $40. Uh, a little bit pricey for a 4 gig card. But I can see that if, uh, if I was in the backyard, for a barbecue or family reunion and I was taking a lot of pictures, it would really be um, a plus to be able to send the photos straight back to the computer while I'm still out there. And it also makes it easy to just transfer the pictures once you get back home from a sporting event or wherever you may have gone to take pictures. All right, well, leave comments if you like or any questions and I'll, uh, I'll try it out and possibly see if I can answer the question for you. Thanks for watching.